program today. We have our first guest with us. He's Dr. Gek Cynthia. You are welcome. Thank you very much, Patience, for having me. Yes, I know I asked you earlier, you said you're perfect. Exactly. You're feeling perfect. I'm feeling perfect. Is it the season or is something that's always how you feel? Well, it's always how I feel. It's always how I try to feel. How you try to feel. Yeah. Now, this season, how is it like for you? Because so many people are saying they don't feel Christmas in the air. Is it the same thing with you? Well, kind of. I do feel Christmas in the air. You do? I do. Oh, that's good to have someone who feels Christmas. Because it's really how you decide to feel it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have your tree set. I know around here we don't yet have one. But you have your set, the decorations. Do you believe in all of that? Mm -hmm. Really, not very the deco person. Okay. Yeah, but I have my lights. You have your I, lights. Yes, I love the lights. Yeah, so it's I true. I have my lights, but mm. the tree no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Doctor Gek is here to tell you and I about the ways we can stay healthy this Christmas season. Uh, so many people use this as an excuse to be greedy and get into a lot of stress and so many other things, fatigue and all of that. So we have to deal with this one after the other. So Dr. Gek, let's start with our physical health. How can the season affect us physically and what can we do about that? All right, thank you so very much for that question. And it's very important about to talk about the physical health mm -hmm. because after the festive season, life goes on. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we have the tendency to do, to binge everything, food, alcohol, and even parties. Mm. So the objective is you can enjoy and have a merry holiday mm -hmm. without having secondary effects after the holiday That's season. Mm -hmm. Because we it's characterized by a lot of binging and I think what I'm going to be doing here is to help persons understand how they can enjoy with moderations yeah. during this uh, festive period. Okay. So what a uh, major negative effect the festive periods have in our, on our health is the effect of the binge of everything that we do. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So this is a time when everybody wants to take excess of alcohol. You want to club almost every day and you want to go out partying almost every day. You want to eat as much as you want to, uh, as much as you've never done before. Mm -hmm. So that is the problem. And what do we have when this kind of habits get so uh, flourish in our lives within this short period of time. Alcohol excesses have the immediate effects and the secondary consequences that take place in the long term. For instance, being in alcohol. Presently, we would have, at the moment, you will have persons who are drunk. It increases yeah. our risk of having accidents, home fights, and the rest. And so, that is not very good for our physical well-being. It also has neurologic effects. So, definitely, your mental acuity will reduce with progressively with time. But in the long term, if this binge habit continues, then we have longer complications of alcohol intoxication, such as chronic liver disease, which has no cure except for a liver transplant. Mm -hmm. So that's just one highlight. Yeah. Now, binge with respect to food, I know that in this time there are a lot of fries. And so persons tend to eat so many fries, and these fries... Chin -chin, egg, do -do, like, everything, everything fried. Everything fried. Mm -hmm. so, if these are taken in very large quantities mm -hmm. now, because the oil we are using is fried, it is converted from good oil to bad oil. Once we fry oil, we convert it from good oil to bad oil. I'm using very okay. simple words. Yes. Yeah. So when that happens and you take large quantities of it, mm -hmm. you're increasing your chances of having what we refer to as cardiovascular diseases. So you're increasing your chances of having a stroke, a heart attack, kidney injury, and even amputations when your blood vessels in your feet are not well perfused and you can't, you can't, you can't uh, continue growing. Just not to interrupt you, before you continue, some people usually think weight gain has to do with just how you look and all the glamorous part. But the doctor is reminding us that in the long run, it does affect your heart and even your feet. So sure. it's beyond the glamour, it's more about how you stay alive. Doctor, you can continue. Thank you very much for that adage. So that's it. So once we, we are consuming uh, fried alcohol, so what we refer to as bad alcohol, um, sorry, bad uh, cholesterol. Okay. So that increases our chances of having these cardiovascular diseases. And also we have binge partying. So everybody wants to party over us and so on. Yeah. It's not good for our health. That uh, basically affects your productivity and your mental well-being. So that will make you become sluggish. 
it will make you want to take other additives to stay healthy or to meet up with your day-to-day -day tasks. So it increases your chances now of getting things like large doses of caffeine, getting other mm. things to keep you awake, which in the long term is not good for our physical health. So those are some of the negative habits that if we adapt or which have been predominant during the first few periods that yes. I for one and a couple of us are trying to encourage that we, we adjust them. And I just have to lead you towards this direction before we let leave of you, doctor. There's also the part of stress on us. We impose it on ourselves during this season. I haven't gotten all the gifts I'm supposed to do. I don't have the amount of food and all of that stress. How do we deal with it this season in order not to blow our minds out instead of celebrating Christ's birth? Yeah, thank you very much for that part. And we know it's been a very stressful year psychologically and you as an individual won't want to put yourself in unnecessary pressure all right so basically um what i advise during the first period is that we need to take care of ourselves uh, looking at your person that we've just spoken about your physical health and then looking at um your psyche yeah. so what do you need to do to cool off so it's okay if you can't get all the dresses all the foods you want mm -hmm. okay so basically from the advice that i'm going to be sharing now with respect to what you need to do for yourself you're going to know that it's not you don't need to do a lot to put yourself under pressure so it's going to help us address to the stress part so first things first the first thing you need to do to stay healthy psychologically and even physically one is to stay hydrated Oh. So we recommend that you drink at least 2.5 liters of water a day. Mm -hmm. Drink your water as much as often. Yes. Right. Next is that we should adopt healthy eating habits. You know, earlier we talked about binge eating. So what do I mean by healthy eating habit? Ensure that in a plate of food that you're eating, half of that plate is made of vegetables and fruits. I right. See. Now, yes. the other half should be split into quarters. The first quarters contains carbohydrate complements, so plantains, fries, anything. All right. And then the next is proteins. Now, in proteins, we are recommending that you eat more of um, less of the red meat, okay, but more of the white. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't eat red, but less of it. When you say red and white, what kind of uh, beef are you talking about or meat? Thank mm -hmm. you so very much. So, red things like cow meat okay all right so it's very clear now and then white meat chicken it's ah. okay mm -hmm. fish it's okay good and then you also have the turkey i don't know if it's very common here but yeah mm -hmm. so that's also white so those are meat that when we eat it's very productive and then as we said you avoid frying as much as possible you know when we were doing food and nutrition in high school they used to say you should get the oil to cooking points so meaning meaning the it doesn't bleach it's just hot and you get that smoke coming out of you okay. that is when you put in your things and you turn you don't need to fry when you fry you convert the good cholesterol okay. that is found in our palm oil into bad cholesterol which in the long term will give you a risk so that is it for food habits for okay. healthy eating habits thirdly what you want to do is to try to do sports yeah you might take a walk mm -hmm. okay you might want to jog but don't wait that you need to get to the gym or you don't wait that Christmas needs to pass before you do that. All right. So yes, try to take a walk. Try to take a healthy walk. Fit it in your schedule. Yeah. And next uh, thing we need to do is, like we said, avoid alcohol excesses. Okay. All right. So if you need to, if you must go to a gathering or if you must go partying and you need to drink, all right. What we say is that you should intersperse your bottles of drinks with either diluted uh, juices or water. Mm -hmm. Good. And generally, what we recommend is that um, what generally what we recommend is that uh, the alcohol intake for men should not exceed 21 units of alcohol a week. 21 units is like three bottles of Cameroon beer. Okay. And per four, week. Yes, per week. And then for ladies, it should not exceed uh, 14 units of alcohol, which is like one and a half of Cameroon beer. So that is that about uh, alcohol wow. um, habits. And now. What do we do? That is taking care of your physical self. Now, if you're somebody who is living with a chronic condition, diabetes, hypertension, and all of that, mm -hmm. these things still stands for you. And But what you should need to know is that you should do a checkup with your attending physician before getting to the first safe period. Wow, Dr. Yeah. Gek, I cannot thank you enough <laughs> for all of the tips you've provided this morning. And hopefully, if you have time again, next week will be a good time for another reminder because when we sure. talk about the end of year, the excesses peak 
even more than today. Yeah. Right now I'm going to take you to the West region. Have you ever been there before? Sure. Okay, um, particularly the Kura village where most IDPs, internally displaced persons, have made a home. But because it's a village and so many people are crowding in, they don't have the perfect living conditions. And Schumer's decided to, to provide support. Let's take a look. 